Hi guys, so for today's video I'm doing a back to school video and um, it's going to be a back to school emergency kit, makeup bag type of thing. But I really wanted to do this video because this is the pencil case bag that I bring anyway. It's very small, like I said, pencil case size. But I've seen so many of these videos and people are bringing in like wash bags and bags which are even just too big to even fit in a school bag and just watching them and they're giving advice to like younger people saying oh if you're going to high school you need to bring all this stuff you really don't need to bring that much to school so yeah I thought I'd just film a realistic version I really like didn't mean to rant then but you really just you don't need much for school anyway so let's just get in and I'll show you what I've got so the first thing are headphones and not really an emergency thing but I like keeping my headphones in a little bag like this just so they're a little bit separated and easy to find in my bag. And in my school I have free lessons so I can listen to music or even if I'm just in my art class I'm allowed to listen to music. So headphones, definitely a necessity or even when I'm walking to school for that matter. Definitely I am lost for the day if I don't bring my headphones in. The next thing I've got now are just some tissues and just get a little packet of tissues. Just something that will fit in here because tissues are so useful. Like you don't want to be running around to the toilet. You just want to be able to whack out your tissues whether you've got a cold or you've just got something on your hands that you want to get off. Trust me, if you haven't got tissues, you're going to need them. So definitely just pack a little small thing of tissues. I'm trying to go in some type of order but as you can see it's really full so it's kind of hard but I'll try and do like more of the necessities and then get on the little bits of makeup. The next thing I've got now are paracetamol and my school gives these out so it's not like a massive emergency if I don't have one and there's literally something floating in the air. Got it. So yeah, it's not like a massive emergency if I don't have these or if I run out, but I know if I'll be in a class and I'll just be like, oh, I need a paracetamol, I can easily just take this without even having to leave. And seriously, like, my friend's always feeling ill and I've got, ah, oh, I've got a paracetamol. The thing I've got now is hand sanitizer. This one's like a Bath and Body Works one, and I got this one online ages ago. It's the scent Angel Food, and ugh, this smells disgusting. I got this one and I got like devil's food cake I think it was. So this is angel's food cake. Oh angel food this one is. The other one was devil's like food cake or something. They smell disgusting these two anyway. The berry ones smell amazing but the food cakes ugh. I'll literally get this out and I'll put it over my hands and people will be like ugh what is that smell. Like I don't know what it is but these Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizers, they smell so strong, you can smell them like a mile off, but yeah, don't get this one. I've got this one because if anyone asks me to use my hand sanitizer, I'm like, yeah, use this one, you know. Don't use my best one, you can use this one. So I've got this one, just like emergency little hand sanitizer. Anyway. But then I've got my good one because I spent like £3 each buying these online, literally like two years ago, and I want to use them up. So I've got this one, it's just called Twisted Peppermint. This one smells really good and yeah, just smells like peppermint. A hand sanitizer, so definitely just pack a hand sanitizer even if it's like one of those 50p ones from Home Bargains because you're probably gonna need a hand sanitizer. The next thing you're gonna probably want are some plasters. These ones are just like old ones. I These are from my bag last year and you can get these off the nurse in school as well but it's just handy having them in a bag. And now the last thing I've got now is like my last product type thing before I move on to like the beauty things. So I just have tampons and probably most of the people watching this are girls so if you are just bring a tampon, bring a pad, bring whatever. Might be embarrassing showing this on camera but it's something you need so at the end of the day bring it. <laughs> There's like, I don't know what else to say. Don't be embarrassed by these, honestly. Like, woo! No, I'm joking, but seriously, don't be embarrassed by these. I know the longest time ever, I was so embarrassed. Like, oh my God, what if someone sees? Who cares if someone sees? Because if you're a girl and you go to the girls' toilets or whatever, everyone, everyone has these or pads. So you're not alone and yeah, you're gonna need those. Okay, and then like I said, got the beauty things now. So the first things are like, hair things really, just some hair bubbles. And I usually have one around my wrist, but if not, I've got some here. I just have like the small ones here because these are really handy if you're putting your hair up in a bun or I've got like a big one for like my hair in a ponytail. I've just got bobbles anyway. Next thing I've got now are bobby pins and I had to cut the little thing down because I don't need a massive thing of them in school. I don't need, what is it, like a hundred? I don't need a hundred bobby pins in school. 
but they're so handy especially if you like you feel your hair like in your face or you just want to get it out or if you've got your hair in a messy bun definitely bring bobby pins because they're just such a staple and then the next thing i have now is a little mirror this is like a really ugly mirror it's from home bargains but it was literally like how much was this? Probably like 59p. Anyway, just a really simple mirror. And I couldn't think of that word then, but yeah, just a mirror because, you know, someone might go, oh, you've got something on your face. Or in my case, I take art and people always used to be like, Karis, you've got like, you've got paint on your face. And I used to be like, oh my God, like, can you get it off? But really, if I had a mirror, it wouldn't have that problem. So I've got a mirror. Next thing I have now can be a little bit random, but I have nail clippers. And I think most people would bring a nail file, but I don't know what it is. I cannot use a nail file. The thought of nail files or sandpaper or anything like that, oh, it, oh, as you can see, it literally like makes me cringe and like my body, like my neck, like, ugh. So I'd much rather use a nail clipper. But yeah, if you have one of those nails and you have to bite it off or there's just nothing you can do and it's just really bugging you for the rest of the day, a nail file, a knife, nail file. Can't even say that. A nail file, or I actually meant to say a nail clipper, it literally takes no room. The next thing I have now is some perfume, and you don't necessarily need this, but I like to bring it just in case like I want to top up or something. And now the only actual makeup items I think you need, I'm getting to now. The first one is blotting sheets, and if you have oily skin, definitely pick yourself up some of these ones. These ones are just Kleenex ones, they're from Home Bargains, and they're like 30p they might even be like 20p whenever they are they're so cheap to buy anyway and they basically just come in little sheets like this and I've mentioned it before and using blossom sheets can be embarrassing kind of just getting a paper and just putting it on your face but I literally I feel like I've said this exact statement before but I feel like putting a piece of paper on your face even if it's embarrassing for like 30 seconds I'd rather have that than walk around with like an oily face or even if you are self-conscious do it in the toilets when everyone else is doing their makeup. That way you just don't have to put on more makeup and you get the shine off your face anyway. Or even if you don't have oily skin, you can bring these if you take PE and you feel sweaty after PE, you can just put these on and your makeup will look fine. Or even if you're not wearing any makeup, it will get like the sweat off your face. And now along with that, I do actually have a powder. This one is a Stila powder. I got it from Poundland actually, which is a really good deal. Like one pound for a Stila powder. The reason I bring this is because I used to bring in like all my years of school I'm finally in my last year of school now but in all of my years of school I used to bring a powder and they just used to smash and I used to pay like five six seven pounds on powders and then they smashed and I'd be like oh and it would just be so annoying so now I just bring these refill ones so if they do smash at the end of the day haven't lost much money and I just take my real techniques brush with this one it just came in like the core collection kit I think it's really easy to just top up powder and yeah like I said got a small little brush here because it fits so well in this little bag and then the last thing I've got is chapstick and nothing worse than having chapped lips and nothing to go on them but that is everything for this bag and like what I think is like good to have as an emergency and things that you need like I said you're not gonna need all of this every day like like for instance plasters, you're not going to need plasters every day, you're not going to need paracetamol every day, but they're handy to have. But I really do hope this helps because like I said, a lot of them on here, they're not realistic. You don't want to bring massive bag to school and you don't want to bring like a whole makeup collection either. You don't need three different lipsticks, you don't need two different powders. To be honest, I don't even think you need to bring your foundation to school because if you have to reapply your foundation in school, it's probably not a very good foundation. If you want to know about foundations actually, I do already have a video on long lasting foundations. I think that video would be really helpful. Oh, and also in that video I say about how to keep your foundation on all day. Apart from that, I really don't think this video has been as short as I intended it to be. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and comment down below anything you want or even comment down below when you go back to school or if you're already back at school let me know if this video did help if it did but yes that is everything i have to say so i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching bye